Hi, I'm Cedric Lejanti, and I am presenting our approach for 3D LiDAR and IMU calibration. Our method calibrates a 6 degrees of freedom IMU and a 3D LiDAR without using any other localization information such as odometry or GPS. To our knowledge, such a method has not been yet proposed in the literature. The IMU gives information on the system dynamics and the LiDAR provides geometric scans of the environment. We've commonly made assumptions the LiDAR scans are subject to motion distortion. To estimate the relative transformation between the sensors, we formulated the problem as a maximum likelihood estimation. We estimate both the IMU trajectory and the calibration parameters based on point-to-plane distances and IMU pre-integration. The calibration target exploited in our probabilistic framework is a simple set of planes. The map is created from the first static LiDAR scan. Then, the sensor suit is moved randomly and the different planes are tracked from scan to scan. Our method is quite robust if tracking is lost for a short period of time. This process associates each LiDAR point and the corresponding map plane. After reprojecting the points in the first LiDAR frame, we compute point to map plane distances as a function of the calibration parameters and the IMU poses. We came up with the upsample pre-integrated measurements to estimate the system's pose at the timestamp of every LiDAR point. These measurements use the pre-integration principle over upsample inertial measurements. We use Gaussian process regression to interpolate the raw IMU readings at any time of interest. These measurements can be used to easily work with asynchronous sensors without making assumptions on the motion of the system. In our paper, we analyze a wide range of simulated experiments and results. For instance, we quantify the impact of the sensor noise on the calibration accuracy. As shown in this video, we also apply our framework to real data. In the absence of ground truth, we show qualitative results such as the trajectory of the IMU here on the right. We also show the performance of our method by comparing the reprojection of LiDAR points in the camera frame of our sensor suit. One calibration on the left changes our IMU LiDAR method with an IMU camera calibration. The third one on the right is a direct calibration between the LiDAR and the camera. We can visually see that both paths give relatively similar results. Thank you.